Madam President and distinguished delegates. As we move towards evolving challenges in health, universal health coverage becomes ever more relevant, particularly as we note widening gaps in the economic and social spheres of our societies. While we don't want to leave anyone behind, we must acknowledge that we have to do better as a society living and interacting in a now global village. Belize is fully aware of our obligations to our citizens and to the regions in which we sit. As such, we welcome the review and recommendations arising out of the Astana Declaration on Primary Healthcare, understanding that failure to engage in universal aspects of healthcare will surely leave people behind. Currently, we are reviewing our health sector response to ensure that the reform we started at the turn of the century keeps primary health care at its core and further guides the expansion of our national health insurance. As we move on, we know that while major strides have been made in infectious diseases, such as having few cases of Zika back in Belize and being on the verge of eliminating malaria, which will be a success story for us, Chronic diseases and its numerous complications are now taking a toll on our resources. We acknowledge, therefore, that we must concentrate on primary health care and prevention strategies in order to have meaningful impact. As we push for food labeling initiatives, the banning of sugary drinks in schools, the introduction of a tobacco bill, and an alcohol policy, we acknowledge that we will come across layers of resistance both internally due to economic and social influences, but also from outside, where economies of scale have influence on smaller economies such as ours. In universal health, international health regulations remain a key element for any health society, healthy society. And in light of emerging and re-emerging infections, our vulnerability is compounded by tourism, a major driver of our economy. So in a global village, a major health impact can be had if we don't address this matter collectively. This matter does requires ongoing collective efforts. As a small con country, we also stress the relevance and importance of climate change. It is real and the impact on health is multifactorial. The third global conference on climate change and health focused on small island developing states but it also provides insight that bigger economies can look at, as it is only through effective partnerships and joint efforts that health impact can be minimized. We are for sure being tested beyond, beyond being smarter and greener. As we reflect and aim to ensure that universal health coverage doesn't take us another 40 years to make relevant changes, we acknowledge and remind ourselves that it is only through a collective effort to an all-inclusive approach at the World Health Organization that includes all, all members of this global village that we will have to advance. Health cannot be about policies and specific ideologies, and we do have a lot to learn in Belize. We are aware that we can learn from countries like Taiwan, a pioneer in universal health coverage, with an almost complete coverage of their population with a steady contribution to global health, which ought to be recognized. Taiwan's participation at this forum would enhance the discussions, and we all stand to benefit with their good practices. Isolation takes us nowhere in health, so we appeal to the Assembly for inclusion of all actors in our deliberations. I thank you. <laughs>